Hello from Gnome Town. My name's Rick. What am I looking at? I'll show you. I'm looking at the mountains of contentment. Beginning my journey. Headed off to far places. Eat, chip, and robber, let's go. We got people to see and places to go. Beautiful, beautiful drive. Rick Camp. I think this is a beautiful spot. Well. <laughs> Look where they cut down the trees over there. See? I think we think that they cut down the burn stuff or something. Well, so this is the Great Plains, east of the Rocky Mountain. Disclaimer. I, I am not an expert of anything, but I can tell you that this land is flat. Well, of course it's flat. It's the Great Plains. What? Farmer G, what are you doing? Well, I heard here? through the grapevine that E. Chip and Robber were taking you on a trip back east, so I thought I'd come along. Oh, that's a fact. Well, come along, G. We love to have you. Let's go. Well, yes. We'll come along. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully we'll see some fish and things like that. By the way, Farmer G, what is it that you do? Well, I'm into aquaponics. What does that mean? Well, it means I eat fruit that's fertilized by fish poop. Oh, okay. So who would have ever thought in the middle of nowhere we'd pick up Farmer G? Oh my goodness. Well, as he said, he heard through the grapevine that we were traveling and so he wanted to join us. So I said, yeah, come along. But, and you know, he's from California, so he would know all about the grapevine, right? No. <laughs> well, you know, so the thing about it is, I hear that <clears throat> Egypt and Robber, it's going around that they're on an epic adventure an epic adventure of a lifetime on the scale of Odysseus and his buddies. Wow, Odysseus, that's pretty cool. A vast expanse of nothing but grass. Come along and ride on the fantastic <coughs> voyage. How close were you? We found a super cool place, the world's smallest jail, not worlds, but nations. The nation's smallest jail established 1924 in Haswell, Colorado. It's a little bitty place. It's pretty interesting, all right. Have you ever spent time in the pokey? I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've spent a lot of time in the pokey. That's why they call me Robber. <laughs> so that's where you get the name, is it Robber? Yes, it is, but don't mm -hmm. tell anyone. Does he chip know? No, it's my little secret, like my little pony. You know, the one named after, you know, you. <laughs> what? He named the butt, the butt horse butt after him. <clears throat> Look, it's a post to tie horses up. Big tall post for a big one and this one's for the little Shetland pony. Very interesting. I want to go in it if it weren't locked. I don't have my tools to break in. Plus it's the middle of the day. It's the world's largest easel in Goodland, Kansas. My goodness. Well, it sure is. Sure is pretty nice. But you know what? It's blazing hot out here. We need to get on the road and get on east. I'm going to paint this. Who's this here? What? Well, Elf Lord, is that you? Elf Lord, yes! You need Elf Lord, what are you doing here? Well, I came to paint. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna paint that giant easel? Why yes. Elf Lord, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh just here to paint. Just here to paint. I'm on one of my journeys. One of my journeys, one of my watercolor journeys. 
and uh, I'm gonna I'm journeying and I'm watercoloring and uh, well yeah. Egypt and Raba asked me if I could join them on their trek on their journey back east well that's cool they asked us too we're coming along uh, it'll be it'll be the three of us partners having fun it'll be lots of fun lots of fun okay sounds good well look what I found if it isn't old farmer G <laughs> farmer G hey elf lord you seeing what I'm seeing yeah I am <laughs> farmer G farmer G uh, uh. beautiful. Hey, this is a cool thing behind me, look. That's a cool fountain. Yep. Well, Farmer G. 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 Everything we see is Farmer G. Oh look, this, it's Farmer G. Oh wait, that's already been done except this horse has a heart butt, so that hasn't been done. Farmer G, the P.F. Chang horse heart butt. Farmer G. What? It's Farmer G. Oh. Well, Farmer G. Farmer G is Jim Bridger, famous mountain man of the West. Yeehaw. One time, a long time ago, on a senior trip for a high school senior trip, not mine, but I was a sponsor. I was up in one of those little slots. Yeah. Those little gondolas, boy, they are cramped and claustrophobic. It's pretty fun, though. Let's look. Let's find a Yeah, it was fun to go up there and look. And that's when I discovered White Castle. You saw White Castle up there? You could see the White Castle from up there. Really? How cool. Oh, St. Louis, yeah, 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 the Gateway Arch, yeah. Oh, well, I kind of like it. Yeah, great. <laughs> Look at that. It's the Gateway, the Gateway to America. Oh, it's the Gateway Arch. It's kind of cool. In all my 34 years of renting cars, I've never seen things. I've seen anything made of stainless steel look so good. That's stainless steel? I didn't know that. Yeah, stainless steel, Robert. Stainless steel. Uh, look, let me let me get out some of my professional sketch paper. Start sketching it. Oh. That looks pretty cool. Right. Sort of reminds me of my aquaponics lines back at home in Cali. Kind of nice. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Farmer G. Farmer G. 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 <laughs> this is the mighty Mississippi, whatever your name is, son. I don't know it. But well, it's the old man river. Has it been a good day, Robert? Yes. Yeah. Here comes yeah. a barge on this side of the river. Enjoying yourself there? I am. Look, a barge, too. It's got. Barge. End of a day of travel. We're leaving Missouri, headed into Illinois, across the mighty Mississippi. Bye, St. Louis. So Rick and Farmer G and L. Ford, what do you say we get a place to stay for the night, huh? Well, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Eat chip. <laughs>